Just that head movement and inside is just wild. Everything. And the power. It was just, that's what you wanted to see from a heavyweight. So that guy is still alive. And he still remembers all these moments. It's not like he doesn't know how to put his knuckles on your face. The, the question is, how much does he have left in his body? 58 today is not 58 when I was 21. It's a different 58, especially if they're not testing him. Okay, yeah. if they're letting him take hormones and peptides and do all the things that I would recommend 100%. I mean, I don't know how you could do it if you're 58 if you're not doing that. If if he's if they're allowing him to do all that stuff and get his body to the optimum level that's known to science, you're, you're dealing with a different kind of human being. You're dealing with one of the greatest fighters that's ever lived. It's just how much does he want to do it? Is he doing it for money? You know, how much does he have left in the tank? Those are all questions that'll make me buy the pay per view. <laughs> <laughs> it's on Netflix, though. It's free. Yeah, that's right. It's free. Yeah, yeah I'm going to watch it. 100% yeah. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to feel bad if he gets knocked out. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. But, you know. Those are his most recent comments about the fight. Tyson addressed the media with his usual boldness during a press conference to show his readiness for battle. He said, I'm just ready. I'm ready. I'm going to talk my talk and do my shit, but I'm ready to fight. Is he really a young killer, Tyson said, discounting any questions on his readiness. Reacting to Paul's taunting Tyson's need to postpone the fight because of an ulcer flare-up uh, earlier in the summer, former champion made a strong statement about his unmatched abilities. He said, I feel a lot better now. Who else can do it but me? Who else is going to fight to make this happen? You got a YouTuber fighting the greatest fighter that ever lived. Ooh. I, I want to hear him say that. That sounds... Ooh. Coming out of his voice would be like... <laughs> we also have to remember about Mike Tyson is that Mike Tyson knows how to mentally prepare. He was trained by Customato, who was a hypnotist. And Customato started hypnotizing him when he was 13 years old. Really? Yeah. That was part of the reason why he was so terrifying. His mindset was just unstoppable. He really thought that he could not be stopped. He thought he was going to murder everybody. And Cuss was his hero. Cuss raised him. Cuss took him in when he was 13 years old. He had this terrible childhood... No love, just in and out of trouble, terrible, bad situation, horrible poverty and crime. And then all of a sudden he's being taken care of by this dude who's a master boxer, master boxing coach. He trained world champions like Jose Torres and Floyd Patterson. And now he's got this young pupil. This is his last hurrah and the greatest shot he's ever had at having, having a real all-time great. I mean, this guy's an all-time great and he's 13. Wow, yeah. He's a 13-year-old, 190-pound kid. <laughs> like, what in the fuck? And he's got this kid, and he's hypnotizing him, and he's telling him you're the greatest, and he's getting it into his head. So from the time he was really young, he was learning mental preparation. He was learning how to put himself into a mindset of just an unstoppable juggernaut that had one goal, one task, and Cuss would tell him, you don't exist. Only the task exists. Mm. Like, you don't exist. What you have to do exists. That's wow. what you are. Wow, that's, yeah, that's powerful. <laughs> I'm going to write that down. Yeah, so the question is, how much does that guy have left?